Welcome back. Let's have levels of measurement. At the end of this presentation, you will identify the four levels of measurement. Nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. Let's have first nominal level. In the nominal level, data is made up of values that are distinguished by name only. There is no standard ordering scheme to this data. Example, gender, civil status, ID number. Gender, male or female. We cannot say that male is greater than female or female is greater than male. So this male and female are labels or names only. And that is nominal level. Civil status single married same it is a label or name id number if your id number is 23 it doesn't mean you perform less than id number one so 23 and one as id number are just names or labels it has no value so that is the first level nominal the second is ordinal level. The data is similar to nominal level data in that data is distinguished by name, but it is different than nominal level data because the attributes can be ranked order. Here, distances between attributes do not have meaning. Example, educational attainment elementary high school college an example elementary going to high school we can order that one so we can rank unlike the nominal le level it's just name and we cannot rank or order educational attainment we can rank and order but the distance between attributes do not have meaning like college and high school the distance in between has no meaning so we cannot measure it okay so that is uh, that is how it meant by having no meaning that is the second ordinal uh, that is the second level ordinal let's have the third level interval the data is similar to ordinal level data it has a definite ordering scheme but the differences between the data is meaningful and can be measured. The one thing that interval data lack is a zero starting point. Example, temperature. Same with ordinal level, we can order the data. 0 degree Celsius, 10 degree Celsius, 15 degree Celsius. In ordering the data, we can also compute or measure the data in between the differences between data unlike in ordinal level like high school and college we cannot in this case we can calculate therefore it is meaningful one thing the interval data lack is zero starting point now how about this means now zero degree celsius in temperature has really temperature it is not an absolute zero. In fact, if you convert that into Fahrenheit, it is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Temperature still exists at zero degrees Celsius. It's, it is not absolute zero. So that is the interval level. And let's go to the fourth one. Ratio level. The data is just like interval data, except that ratios make sense the ratio makes sense because there is an absolute zero remember in the interval level there is no absolute zero but in this case ratio level has an absolute zero example weight zero kilogram five kilogram ten kilogram we can arrange the data same with ordinal level the data in between can be measured same with interval level 
and the zero kilogram here is absolute and that makes it ratio level because we can order we can compute the data in between and we have an absolute zero zero kilogram exists and it is zero and that's the starting point that is the fourth and the last level ratio now let's have 